Are we live? I believe we're live. I don't know why that's popping up. Hang on. <laughs> All right. You know, give me just a second here. Oh, good. Oh, man. I just... <sighs> oh, I bit my tongue trying to stifle a sneeze. Oh, that hurt. <laughs> okay. I think we're ready. Here we go. Alrighty, so I had a heck of a time trying to get this to even run the way that uh, it's supposed to. Let me turn this down a little. You guys should be able to hear it just fine. This is just for uh, just from my end. Alrighty. Let's go ahead and start a new game. This is the Book of Unwritten Tales. Uh, it's actually the original game I wanted to just start playing to begin with <laughs> today. Um, I just had to play around with Streamlabs settings because it wouldn't record this. It wouldn't record the other game. That was my backlog that I wanted to play. Um, so, yeah, it, it was it was something. <laughs> While I waited for my laptop to uh, reboot, though, I decided to go ahead and do some more nesting, I guess. Because we're only two and a half weeks away from baby time. <sighs> so I don't know how many more opportunities I'll get to stream before the baby arrives. Um, but yeah. Let's just go ahead and hit new game. <sighs> Try not to talk, because I know as soon as I start talking, it's going to, uh... Yeah, this. Cutscene. Our world is at war. Only the old. Defeat followed victory. Victory followed defeat. No one could tame the disciples of Vanya. Only now is the an end in sight. Who would ever have thought that it would fall to someone like me, an old archaeologist, to put an end to this madness? And I didn't find the key to ending the war on one of my expeditions. Not deep in some dark dungeon, nor on the peak of a fiery mountain. that luck has not abandoned us. What's happened to people in the archmage's name? Doesn't he know how... So then, you're MacGuffin, are you? Archaeologist. Adventurer and future trophy on my mother's living room wall. And you are Monkus, dastardly son of the Arch Whitmore Kroger. What do you want from me? I think you know that. Where is it? We know that your evil minded servant is on the way to that damned magical trickster Alistair. I won't tell you anything. Take him away. Mother has ways and means of squeezing what you need to know out of him. After all, what's likely to happen? Oh well, we're several days away from the wild land. It's just the same here as in the elf burrow. Oh, then, if it was left up to them, I'd just be spending the whole day. Oh! Oh! No, don't run into anything stupid. You're right, we should get help. You know? Oh. Oh, okay, cool. I guess we're, uh... I guess we're in the game now. You can move Ivo using the left mouse button. Move her to the dragon's leg. 
let me do something real quick. I thought I had, yeah, I thought I had subtitles on. Uh, I guess that might only be for the, uh, you know, the actual game portions, not for the um, cutscenes and stuff. But yeah, I've legit never played this game before. I've launched it, but for some reason I've never played it. So this is the farthest I've gotten so far. <laughs> Oh, could you? The metal cage is fastened onto the dragon's tail. The old gremlin's in the cage. He hasn't noticed me yet. Okay. Hey, hello. You there? Hi, Yoda. Okay, cool. Um, so I wasn't expecting this to be a point and click. Um, and to tell you guys the truth, I picked up this game when it was still relatively new. I don't even remember when that was. Let me let me see when I purchased this thing. If I can, on the Steam app on my phone, that is. But yeah, I, I really can't re remember what even caught my eye about this game. I just I was scrolling through and I saw that I had this game downloaded and installed on my laptop here. And I just I just never played it. Always intended to though. Okay, so while this loads I'm Okay, this thing's being stupid. Book of Okay, let's see. Oh, what Elf is going to save the day for you? Call me Ivo. The question is, in fact, who are you and why were you kidnapped? Uh, let's just introduce ourselves. My name is. Never mind. There's something you have to do for me. Oh. What are you talking about? It's not just for me, it's for the Alliance. I've no particular interest in the Alliance. I don't care. This has to do with everyone. Okay. Professor McGuffin, you know. I'm an archaeologist. I've discovered something. Something important. And they want it? Oh, yes. You've no idea how much they want it. Okay. Uh, what have you discovered? Let me guess. Your kidnappers up there want to use your knowledge to achieve world domination? You may scoff, but they would have to skin me before I tell them what I know. Okay, then. I'll release you and let you mortals carry on playing at war. No! We've got no time to lose. You! You must take this ring. Take it to the Archmage Alistair in the town of Seastone, on the coast. He will send someone to my house. The book that describes where it is hidden is there in my secret cellar. He must get it to safety. And what about you? I will win you as much time as I can. I can endure torture for hours, days if need be. Ugh. The pain, the humiliation, the agony of body and soul. Okay, so this game came out like 13 years ago, and it was made with the Ogre engine, which I was deeply interested in at the time. So I was just out of high school when this uh, when this came out. Neat. <laughs> Alrighty. Perhaps I should just release you, and we'll do without the pain and suffering. That would, of course, also be an option. Less dramatic, but if you insist, I can hardly stop you. How can I get you out of there? Good question. This cage is well built and the lock won't be easy to deal with. I could untie the cage and then it would smash when it hits the ground. Just like my old bow. Well, it's not a bad idea. Huh. On the way to Mortoga's fortress, we'll fly over the White Wing Mountains. Everything's covered in snow there, and the dragon will fly low over the peaks. We could try it there. That was a joke. The chances of that working are about a million to one. I can't see any other way to escape. Fighting is not an option. Let me see how the cage is fastened. You do that. I'll be um, here if you need me. No idea what's going on here. I should probably release the old gremlin before we get into enemy territory. That makes sense. We'll see how we go after that. 
Alrighty. Do we have like an inventory or that's the way I think of it up in black. I can't reach this port spot. Hey, McGuffin. What a name. One more time. Uh, I, yeah. Again, just to be sure. You come up with a way to release the cage. As soon as we're flying close to the ground in the White Ridge Mountains, you let me and the cage drop, and then jump yourself. Okay. Do you think you'll survive the impact? I hope so. The dragon will have to fly close to the mountain peaks. There are lots of pine trees and snowdrifts there. What a shitty plan. And chasms and canyons and rocks. And trees. Yes, yes, I know. But I've got to get back to my cottage and get the book from my cellar. They mustn't get their hands on it. All right. Okay. Uh That kidnapper with his troll. Who is he? The sorcerer. He's called Monkus. What a He's name. The son of the Archwitch Mortrogan. The Archwitch. How did she know that you've made such an important discovery? Beetle, my servant. I sent him on a secret mission to the Archmage. I must have caught him. Poor Beetle. All righty. Isn't it a trifle improbable that a 50 meter long dragon with a pathetically small wingspan could be physically capable of transporting such a substantial amount of gear? Ooh, how should I know? I'm an archaeologist, not an aeronautical scientist. I don't concern myself with trivialities. I see it flying, so I believe it. <laughs> I, however, find it illogical. Yeah, well, what about then bumblebees? Be magic. Bumblebees. Mm -hmm. If something isn't logical in this world, then it's always down to magic. Like bumblebees. Everything like that. Something's flying that can't fly. Magic. Bubblebees. Okay. I'll just carry on. Okay, cool. Okay. So we can't quite reach that support strut. This rope fastens the cage to the dragon. I have to undo it if I want to drop the cage onto the mountains. That's a good start then. This is too tight. Oh. I won't be able to undo this just using my hands. But if I had a knife or a sword, I could perhaps cut the rope. Okay. Can we? Oh. Transport dragons can move great loads, like these barrels, wooden posts, and this big crate. I don't think that this stuff will help me a whole lot. Pardon if you can hear the thunder outside. That said, if the uh, if the power flickers, um, you guys know what happened. If I disconnect. Is there nothing here I can use or interact with? Can't really go back that way. Hmm. Do you have anything what is it? useful on you? The cage has been secured with a thick rope. I can't release it using my bare hands. And you'll have to cut through the rope. Splendid idea, but I don't have a knife. Do you? Then get your hands on one. These kidnappers up there are sure to be armed. Oh, wonderful. How do we get up there? Be true. If I'm going to steal a knife from the kidnappers, then I need to get onto the back of the dragon. There's a support strut there. If I could reach it, I'd be able to pull myself up. No problem. Here, take this. Oh. Neat. A whip? It's always served me well. You could use it as a rope. To find the whip, just as all other objects in the inventory, move the mouse to the bottom edge of the screen to open the inventory. Alright. Click on it using the right mouse button. I'll carry I'll on then. Okay, bull whip, I see. Alright, Ivo. You got it. All right, let's go. What? Yes, yes, I was evil and beastly. Yes, I, I'll bring him with me, mother. Yes, yes, yes. I, I have to go. Kisses. Why? I'm steering a 
Dragon, remember? I'm not being cut with you. I, I, yes. Mm -hmm. Good. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. I'll see you later. <laughs> Love you too. Hugs and kisses, mummy. Oh, by the gods, how I hate her. <laughs> <laughs> no, not much longer, Marcus. Not much longer. Soon you will have it in your hand. Why is everyone so cryptic? But you have to be careful, Mancus. Mother is mistrustful. She has her agents everywhere. And you are talking to yourself. Better shut up. I've actually said that last line to myself. It's vital that I rescue him. If I remain right here on the outside, then they won't be able to spot me from the driver's cabin. I do need one of these, um pointy things with one of those swords but i can't reach the stand without the sorcerer seeing me you say this but like wouldn't he be facing you know the front of the dragon if he were driving it the thing wouldn't stick with the flag of the shadow army the stick's been tied loosely to the railing how's it still fastened got one and the sorcerer hasn't noticed mhm mm Probably because he's not looking that way. I think I can reach the sword with the stick, but getting it over here would be a bit risky. The goblin would notice the stick, and I'd have a knife in my stomach before I could say, uh oh. All right. Can't use that to jimmy the rope loose. Is there anything else interactable here? An old cardboard box. It seems to be some kind of emergency kit if the dragon crash lands. There are a few moth-eaten blankets in the box, a bit of dried meat covered in white mold, and a blue and red potion, and... Hmm... A line with a fish hook. It looks quite serviceable. I'll take it with me. You can combine objects in the inventory by selecting an object and then clicking it with another object. I'll knot the line to the tip of the stick and hey presto, I've got a fishing rod. Neat. And he didn't hear any of that. All right. I should warn MacGuffin that we're in business. Perhaps he might change his mind. Oh. Hey, MacGuffin. What is it? Okay. So what is this discovery of yours? Great treasure? A weapon? I can't tell you. Too dangerous. Actually, no. I don't have it either. What do you mean? I found a clue in an old book as to where the artifact... where it is hidden. Artifact? It? This is getting more and more cliché. And a little annoying. Cliché? The struggle of good against evil is never cliché. Yes, it is. You mentioned your secret cellar. Is that where the book's hidden? Pretty risky. I've got a sword and can cut through the rope as soon as you're ready. Fine. I'm ready when you are. We're over the mountains. It's now or never. All right. Are you really sure? I am. But if I don't survive or they catch me, then you'll have to fetch the book from my secret cellar and take it to the Archmage. Ugh. You mean, if you die, the young, sexy elf will become the hero of the story rather than an old, disheveled gremlin. How improbable. 
Don't talk, just cut me free. Alright, fine, jeez. The right moment is close. There's the mountain. Good luck, the guy. Another cutscene. Yay! <laughs> I guess we should just uh, sit back and enjoy this. I like the music. This is so cliche and adorable, and I kind of love it. I'm not talking because I'm enjoying the music. <laughs> Working hard at it, saving the world. I, I'm, I'm almost done, you. Yeah? I could see. Weavering away, eh? <laughs> what were you this time? A knight riding high on his horse? Or one of those funny little mages again, eh? <laughs> hey, hero. I've got a job for you. A quest. Send my new house robot off on a rat hunt. That rat's got an end for my precious hops. And if I don't plant them, beer's going to be a wee bit scarce. I've never heard of a hero having to catch rats. You're not a hero <laughs> yet, laddie. You're still my helper. And that being the case, you'd better get your act together. Then you can finish up here and go and have some more heroic daydreams. <laughs> so I need to go and do a quality control check on barrels 2034 to 2038. Well, I've got a feeling there might be something wrong with the 2030 batch. We'll see. We'll see. Dwarfs are excellent stonemasons. That fireplace is proof. Hmm. That seems to be the rat hole where the little beast plans its raids. A large crate. It must have been delivered as I, um, I, well. Uh. Let's see. Not a chance. I'll never get this crate open with my bare hands. Broom's not going to help us. Is there a pry bar? A thieving rat. Devious and dangerous. It always runs into its little hole when I get too close. A dwarf sized crowbar. So it's pretty big. <laughs> Let's see. What's that? Ah, the user manual. Wood Elvish. Here we are, Dwarven. Thank you for purchasing an X100 house robot. 
the latest in house robot technology. Feed the X100 the stinking remains of your disgust in existence, but absolutely no broccoli or Brussels sprouts. We'll make it gassy. Mm. Rats, there. Rats, there. Rats breeding. Ah, rat hunting. Rat, rat hunting. breeding. In order to hunt rats or vermin of any kind, you must first feed the X100 with DNA from your targets. Oh. DNA carriers include hair, blood, sweat, snot, and uh, other things. Yeah, just cut the whole okay. damn leg off so and give it I that. I to give the robot a little garbage appetizer to start it up before I feed it the main course, rat DNA. Alrighty. Finally, a simple rat trap. Simple. Do we have any garbage? Hello, Master Brewer, sir. Hi, hi, Wilbur. So I'm supposed to uncreate the robot and send it after the rats. Definitely. Shouldn't be too difficult for you, being a gnome and all. You've got the right kind of hands for all that technical stuff. I'm not really all that into technology. I'm more interested in the mysterious powers of magic. <laughs> well, in that case, I'm sure there's some instructions in the crate. Shouldn't be that difficult for Mr. Mage. <laughs> Is everything okay with the beer? That's not so easy to say. It's complicated with beer. You initially think, hmm, that tastes good. But then, bam, the finish is all off. Earthy and musty, and there's nothing you can do. But of course, you can't really tell from just one pint. <laughs> <sighs> Where are the other dwarves, anyway? All away fighting, you know that. There's been nobody here except me for years. I'm keeping the whole place ticking over. If you weren't here, lad, I'd probably have pegged it from loneliness long ago. <laughs> huh. What's the news from the front? The Alliance is winning, isn't it? It's a proper mess. They just swing back and forth. It's been like that for years. Neither side has the advantage. Today, we take Finsterberg, and tomorrow the Shadow Army plunders Auenheim. Today, we take care of Garrett the Throat Slitter, and tomorrow, they nobble Bella Sunnythor. At the moment, we've got Mortroga's Fortress under siege, the old Arch Witch. Not getting anywhere fast, though. It could still be years before either side gets the upper hand. Hopefully we do. Aye, let's hope so. <laughs> You miss the other dwarves a lot. Aye, there's not much going on here now, that's for sure. In the old days, it was packed and rowdy every night. Stone Chomper and Bowl in the Bear, Peppo and Talon, <laughs> he could beat anyone at finger wrestling. And then, of course, there was Villant, our leader with his golden tankard. Now I've only got you here. You're not exactly a party animal. Maybe the other dwarves will come back soon. Aye, and then they'll tell their tales of adventure, the times they've had and what they've been through. And me, I can only listen on. I'd Aww. like to hear their stories, seeing as though I'm not with them myself. Hmm. Alrighty, back to work. I'll take care of the robot then, and the rat. Aye, go on then. Okay, you got any garbage? Is there anything else I can interact with in here? That's the Master Brewer's favorite spot. He likes to relax there in the evening. It's a map. It says the country's best pubs on it. Oh. It shows the area reaching from our beautiful White Ridge Mountains down to the sea, where the humans live on the coast. Probably some garbage in the kitchen, right? Hmm. I call it A History of Dwarven Cuisine The Last Three Weeks by Wilbur Weathervane. Take. Take! Ugh. Look, it's what we need. The sun is pretty low. It'll be dark soon. Also, I love the, uh, the halls of the Mountain King 
song here. The stove isn't used much, so this morning the master brewer heated up a few beer sausages on it. That sounds good. A tin coffee pot. It hasn't been used in ages. And guaranteed not for coffee. The master brewer doesn't trust non-alcoholic drinks. As a dwarf shouldn't, I suppose. Lubbub. Oh, well. Dwarven fast food. But I'm not hungry. The rubbish bin is almost overflowing. Presumably it's my job to empty it, but oh well. Yeah. This pump can be used to pump water up from deep in the mountain. Although I wouldn't bet on it still working. Yeah, it may not. The master brewer says these kettles are used to make beer. This is his private setup, and the proper ones are in the cellar. Mm, excuse me. Ew. An old, rather dirty cooking pot. A pile of dirty dishes. The longer the other dwarves are away, the less attention the master brewer pays to things like this. Hmm. A net? I know. A very roughly knotted net with loose ends. Maybe it's used for fruit. It Although I've never seen be? any fruit around here, the master brewer prefers heartier fare. So, meat, potatoes. I prefer fruit. That is the Bastion's emblem. Actually, an entire battalion of dwarves is supposed to be stationed here. Oh. Each battalion consists of seven companies, which in turn consists of seven platoons. Each platoon consists of seven squads of seven dwarves. Dwarves have this thing for the number seven. Hmm. That's actually, that could be useful. All right. Okay. Oh, what no. was that? Feed the ex. We don't want In that. Order to DNA cap. Stop. Okay, we want the kitchen waste. Let's see how it likes this. Oh, how cute! Aha, it worked. I love the better face. Ugh. It looks like the X100 really liked that rubbish. At least it's purring like a cat. That now it I is. just have to get it to hunt like one. Okay. So, rat DNA. That's the exit, but I can't call it a day yet. Okay, so. First, it's not I have like to teach the house robot to catch rats. Alrighty. Ugh. It looks like the X. Now I just have to. Hmm. Nah, the net is pretty coarsely woven. The rat would probably slip through. Besides, I don't feel like sticking my hand in the dark hole. Hmm. Do you still need this net, or can I have it? Just take it. It's got a few holes in it. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Hello, Master. Oh, yeah. Okay. Alrighty. I'll take care of Bye. So we just need to find rat DNA. Where, oh, where could we find rat DNA? Pipes run through the walls and floor. They are part of the central beer supply system, which runs through the whole bastion. Hmm. Okay. I thought so. Broken. Of the course. The dwarves have a lot of work ahead of them when they get back. If they come back. Hmm. 
took the rubbish. I already looked at that. Ah. Ah! Mutant slime. Gross. Maybe I should have thrown out the rest of that chocolate pudding. I wonder. I'm not likely to be able to catch the slime with the net. It's too slimy. There is no way I'm taking that pot with the slime can be really easy. Can I use the rubbish with it? No. No, apparently not. Oh. Hmm. The coals in the oven have kept the stove warm. Okay, let's use this. I don't really think I'll be able to scoop the slime out of that pot. No. Well, why not? The stove is still a little warm. You couldn't cook any. But you could heat something up. Not the rubbish, though. Hmm. Can I use the rubbish with this? No. I used to be really afraid of that fireplace. Nowadays, I'm only slightly terrified. Oh. Why would you be afraid of it, though? Alrighty. The robot is already chock full of disgusting leftovers. It can't hold anymore. Besides, it's already running. Okay, so what am I meant to do? Ugh. Now I just have to get it. An empty coffee pot. Net. Can I use the rubbish with anything? Ugh, I'm so bad at friggin' point and clicks. I've already got rubbish. I've got kitchen waste. I pointed out to the master brewer, but then I'd be the one who ends up washing it all up. And with no water, that'd be uh that would be a challenge. The master brewer says it's very easy to brew beer. Still, he did go to school. What am I supposed to do? That's not gonna do anything. Hmm. Shame I can't catch the rat with a net. Let's see. Can I set this somewhere to attract the rat? Am I thinking about this too logically? Dwarfs have a thing for beautiful architecture, but when it comes to the beer supply, compromises are sometimes made. Huh. Nah, the net is pretty coarsely woven. The rat would probably slip through. I know we tried Besides, that. I don't feel like sticking my hand in the dark hole. Ugh. It looks like now I just have. 
So the robot is activated. Now, in order to hunt rats or vermin, DNA carriers include hair, blood, sweat, snot, and uh, other things. Yep, yeah, poop. We get it. The rat has chewed through the wood with some fur hanging from a splinter. Ah. Ooh, I'll take that. Give this little bundle of hair to our robot friend. And now the fur. A source of rat DNA. Yay. Go, Roomba, go. And it's gone. It won't be back anytime soon either. Problem solved. Neat. Hello, Master Brewer, sir. Hi, hi, Wilbur. Did you know there's an evil slime living in a pot in the kitchen? Oh, yes, it nicked a sausage off me this morning. Yes. <laughs> well, doesn't that bother you? Well, yes. Live and let live, I say. As long as it doesn't develop a taste for beer. <laughs> Priorities. The rat's gone. I saw. It's amazing what you little gnomes can puzzle out, eh? <laughs> the rat's lost his appetite for my hops at any rate. He won't be coming back for I, a while. <laughs> I'm 5'2". I'm not that short. Don't now. call me a gnome. Of course you can. Safe home, my lad. See you tomorrow. Bye. Bye. See you later, lad. Alrighty, and I'm going to make off with all this crap that I picked up. And another day ends. And, as usual, I didn't save any princesses or fight any dragons or hunt any orcs. I chased a rat off, and I didn't even do it myself. I used a fully automated robot instead. Oh, it's no. It's take more than that before my statue stands next to Knight Kilo in the Hall of Heroes. But I'm going to make it one day. Ah. Uh. I can't relate to this guy. I, I like leading a boring, predictable, safe life, personally. Hi. Hi, Yoda. Surprised you're not dead. Or maybe you are dead. Nope, nope, you're not dead. Hey, you, boy, you've got to get me out of here. Quickly, please. I was abducted. An elf freed me. They want. You've got to believe me. I have the key to something that could determine the fate of the war. Uh. Listen, boy. It's too late. You see this ring? <laughs> it's the key. <laughs> Take it to the human archmage in the town of Seastone. You understand? But. Uh, what's all of our happening? Fates depend on it. It's animation, bro. I mean, I know it looks great for 09, but still. <laughs> well, maybe not. Oh, dude, dude, nobody's going to believe this. Maybe not great, There's no but, way I'll you make know. it down to the human town by the sea on my own. I need help. I should ask the Master Brewer for help. Or Grandad. He fought for the Alliance. Let's go talk to the Master Brewer first, since he's right there. Of course, it's pretty cold all year round up here in the mountains. But this year, winter came particularly early. Take. It worked. I got one. All right. Can we go talk to the master brewer? Probably the statue of some famous dwarven leader. I don't know much about their history. Oh. Oh, my ear itches. Master Brewer, Excuse sir. me. Hello, Master Brewer, sir. Where are you? Napping. All that brewski, bro. Oh, Master Brewer, sir. Master Brewer. Mm, what? What? We have to tell the other dwarves. There was this gremlin in a cage, and he gave me this ring, and... What kind of ring, then? This, this ring. It's a very important ring. The gremlin said all our fates... 
Uh, Wilbur, I really don't have time for this kid stuff. I've got more important things to do. Like nap. The ring has to be delivered to the Archmage down in the human town. The Gremlin said it could end the war. Listen, laddie. That's a ring. What's it supposed to be able to do? It's... I have to. The, the Gremlin wasn't lying. Just think about it. When has anybody ever given an important ring to a little being like a gnome? I mean... That sort of thing just doesn't happen. Uh, but... Especially not in famous That's fiction. Enough. Now, go home. It's getting late. Especially not in famous works of fiction. <sighs> I guess I can't expect any help from a master brewer. Let's just get out of here. And go talk to that other guy you'd mentioned. Is there any way I could make you walk faster? There's no way I can walk all the way to Seastone. That's many days march through these mountains. Yeah, the same thought. Uh, then is there anything over this way? The bastion looks so impressive. However, many of the halls and corridors were never completed. Maybe I can do something with that slime. Poke it with an icicle, maybe. No? Can I poke anything with an icicle? Not in here. Uh... A heavy gold ring. Oh, it feels warm. There is some fine script on the inside, but I can't make out what it says. All right. The robot gets its energy from rubbish. That's got the power supply sorted out then. All right. <sighs> Can I do anything with our robot friend? Is there anything new I can do with our robot friend? Not really. Um. That's just a map of pubs. The map but shows the area between here and the human town of Seastone. Uh huh. The map shows the area. Okay, well we're trying to go to Seastone. There is no way I'm taking that pot with the evil slime in it. Slime can be really evil. Bad slime. It'll take a long time for the icicle to melt. After all, the pot isn't all that warm. Okay. I should speed up the melt. Yeah, we get it. It shouldn't take long to melt the icicle. The stove is still warm. The icicle is gone. All that's left is crystal clear water. All right. And let's see if we can pour this water onto here. I don't really think I'll be able to scoop the slime out of that pot. Oh. Maybe we throw the water on our drunken friend. No. Can we use it on our robot friend? No. Uh... Where 
in the hell am I supposed to use this freaking water? There's no way I can walk all the way to Seastone. It's many days walk through the mountains, blah blah blah. Uh Okay. Haven't used the ring on ourselves. I don't see this turning red anywhere. The X100 is ready for use again. I just need some. I need some DNA, and it's off on the hunt again. Huh. Nah, the net is pretty coarsely moved. Besides, to be honest, I'm not going to put my hand in there without a very good reason. Who knows what the rat has hidden there? Maybe rotten food, or already digested food, Gross. or even more rats. Can we at least look at to it? Be honest, maybe nope. Or even. <sighs> oh, Wilbur, I'm not a very uh, brave gnome. Excuse me. What am I supposed to do? I don't really think I'll be able to scoop. Uh I'm not likely to be able to. I'm not likely. An old, rather dirty. What am I supposed to do, Wilbur? Clicked on everything in here that can be clicked on. Oh. Beards are important to dwarves. The longer the beard, the more respect the dwarf gets. And the beard ornaments tell you a lot about their owner. The master brewer, for example, is a second degree keg roller. He was born the ninth of twelve children, and he's got a weak spot for beer. Mm -hmm. He's a bachelor, but isn't one for walks in the morning dew. And he was almost kicked out of school for pulling a girl's mustache. <laughs> I think I let him sleep. He won't oh, help me anyway. The map shows the area between here and the human town of Seastone. I would love to just the take that. Uh, I thought I saw the wrench icon for just a split second there. Can't take the broom. Alright. Okay. I know you guys probably don't want to watch me just, you know, fuddle around here. Let's see, book of unwritten tales. Okay. No, I don't want any of that. I want a guide because I'm terrible.
I just know this page is going to be just riddled with ads. Okay, let's see. Ivo, MacGuffin, playing as Wilbur, okay. Da, da, da. It's snowing outside. Okay. Oh. Okay, so I missed something... <laughs> something relatively obvious. I thought this was just foreground, like, decoration. I didn't think this was an actual thing. That's the entrance to my family's gnome hole. We've been living here for generations. Alrighty. Off we go. <laughs> okay. Hey. My mechanical flying fish Nemo. How did you get there? One of the few technical devices I ever built. Well, to be honest, actually my father and my sister really, but uh, I did watch. Oh. Um. <laughs> it's cute. Oh, I love it. <laughs> oh, I love it. It still works. A solid example of gnome technology, if I do say so myself. That's my family. Right now, just Grandad and I are holding down the fort. The others are all at a technology trade show down south. Hmm. My dad is a mechanic and a physicist. He primarily works on, uh, things. Mother is just a whole wife and geneticist. A whole wife. The baby is my little sister, Sydney. I think she'll be a researcher, too. She once doubled her baby phone's data transfer rate using nothing but a rattle and a rubber ball. Goodness. My other little sister is Maggie, my parents' pride and joy. She mainly concentrates on robotics, combat robots to be exact. Grandad is a war veteran and conducts secret military research. Whenever Dad lets him in the workshop, that is. Hmm. Looks like I'm the proverbial exception to the rule. I'd rather go out into the world and become a mage. A hero like Knight Halo. A real Bilbo, but this one. Someone has to look after Grandad and the Master Brewer. I'm more of a local, unsung hero. Yes. I mean, I, I know the, you know, analogy between him and Bilbo is obvious, but, like, I can't not address it. A chair. Alrighty. Those are the controls for our living space optimization unit. My father invented them. Cool. My mother is a real whole wife. She spends her time on chemistry, biology, genetics, and that kind of stuff. Neat. This is my very cool room. Very cool. My old gnome scout rucksack. Pretty tough, that. But somehow I always had the feeling it could have been a little larger. I wonder if putting small bags and pouches in it would increase the rucksack's capacity. That doesn't make any sense. But this is a video game. My old tennis racket. Although I was never very good. The cat cut is missing. What did I use that for? The what? Guess that's all we can get from your room there. Try this other lever. Our kitchen. Our flour mill. Mother makes sure we eat a healthy diet. One day we'll all be big and strong, comparatively. Master Merlin's antibacterial kitchen cleaner. The dirt disappears like magic. How nice. If only I could cast spells like Merlin, or any other household cleaner for that matter. Mum hid the knives as a precaution after Grandad's knife throwing training classes last year. She doesn't trust us anymore. I can't say that I blame her. Hmm, a pale blue glowing liquid. Something tells me it's probably not good for you. It probably isn't. Let's take it. My mum wrote super fertilizer on it. Probably one of her genetic experiments. 
Okay, I guess there's something else we can take from that cabinet. Oh, I can't reach back. Oh. Ah, uh, the cat gut must be the um the mesh that's inside of the tennis racket. I used to play badminton a lot, but uh, I never actually learned about the different parts of rackets and stuff. I was very good too, at least with the regulation size uh, rackets. The ones in school were shorter, so, and I tended to play on the tip of the racket, so, eh. That's the lever for my little sister's bedroom. I'm not touching that. Obviously. She builds combat robots, and she kind of hinted that she knows how to protect her privacy. And this one? That's the lever for my parents' bedroom. Let's not go in there. I can't use it until they get back. Okay. One of my dad's inventions. He calls it a time measurometer. It splits the day into two periods of 12 hours each and shows which hour we are currently in. Huh. Sometimes I think that thing uses time up instead of just showing it. It kind of sounds that way, doesn't it? Okay, let's see. Let's use the net with the racket. Just knock the loose ends around the frame. Done. I wouldn't want to play tennis with it, but it does make a fine scoop. Okay, speaking of... Alright. Gotcha. This chair is completely uninteresting. Like I said, a chair to sit on, it's still a chair. A totally uninteresting chair, which is absolutely no help to me. Not now, not ever. It is a Chair. Honest. Okay, whatever. It's a horse. <laughs> a beautiful big white horse. I'm gonna keep clicking. What is your problem? A chair is a chair is a chair. You just told me it was a horse. <sighs> I'm not going to answer. The chair, of course. That's the key to it all. Not a chair. This chair is comp Ugh, okay. I think I'll just leave that alone. We gnomes have a golden rule. Okay, that's a pretty good rule to have. A flower pot full of potting soil. Hmm, doesn't look like Mother planted anything in there. Maybe. Why should I fertilize potting soil? Eh, uh, well. Hmm, I see we have fertilizer and water, though. Hmm. Is there anything left in here that I can interact with? Another one of Dad's inventions. He calls it eclecticity or something. It's <laughs> got something to do with hamsters. Hamsters. And down we go. That seems incredibly dangerous. Hey, Gramps. Halt! Who's there? Hi, Grandad. It's me. I doubt it. What's the password? Um. Password? I don't know anything about a password. Bad answer. Prepare to die, scoundrel. It's important, Grandad. So is the password. We are at war, damn it! War suffereth no carelessness! What is this accent? Oh, the password! Was it Fluffy Bunny? You wish? Die, maggot! It's important, Grandad. So is the password! So? Nuclear first strike, sir. Hmm, correct. What do you want? Hello, Grandad. Uh, gave me this ring. I just noticed his, uh, he said it's very important. He said prosthetic. the ring has to be delivered to the Archmage as quickly as possible. A ring? Have you checked it for contamination? Yes. Con con um, what? For curses, hexes, poison. I, uh, 
What am I talking about? Of course you have. Yes. No would accept a ring from a gremlin and not check it for curses. Of course. You're as little blight as those gremlins. You shouldn't feed them after midnight, you know. Cute. The, uh, the, the gremlin said this ring could decide the course of the entire war. Decide the course of the war? That would be... Where is this gremlin? He's been kidnapped. He barely had time to give me this ring. It should be taken to the Archmage as quickly as possible. The Archmage? Hmm, yes, yes. He'd know what to do. This is what we've been waiting for. This is what we've trained for. Uh... This is the hour in which a stout youngster becomes an adult. The hour of glory. The hour of fame. Hour, hour. Oh, but... But what do you mean, stout? Does everyone know what they have to do? No. No one knows what's right going then, on. Let it be so. No one knows what's happening, Grandpa. Though that's a really cool prosthetic. I like it. Grandad has this thing about secrecy. I think he's afraid of Shadow Army spies or something. A thin, silvery, elven rope. It's very light and almost unbreakable. Can, can I have? I can have. <laughs> ah, an old extension arm. Very handy if you're too small to reach an object. Can I it's take? kind of a widespread problem amongst us gnomes. Can I take? Parts of some machine or something. If it's useless, it's Dad's. If it's broken, it's Grandad's. And if it's dangerous, it's from my sister Maggie. That's one of Grandad's great inventions. A ship which travels underwater. It can already sink. <laughs> it's cute. The locker won't open. It was badly damaged two years ago in the devastating spring cleaning explosion. Aww. That's Dad's spare toolbox. Well, he took his everyday tools, his travel tools, and his finest tools with him. I'll just be borrowing this. What are we here? Wrench, pliers, auger grease, a minotaur foot, a curse meter. I'll just take the entire box. Yeah, why not? Okay. Anything else in here that I can just, you know, take? Without asking. Let's see. Looks like Granddad's nice. working on a nuke. Brings back a lot of memories. Painful, mostly. Well, I mean, vice is if you're not careful, you know. A huge machine. I mean, even for Granddad, he's really taking advantage of Mum and Dad being away. Yeah, why not? They're gone. It's not like he's bothering him. Hey, Gramps. Call me Colonel. All right. What exactly are we to do now, Colonel Grandad? We oh, just cute. discussed that. You get the equipment. I'll sort out the means of transport. Equipment for what? Yeah, for he what? never really. <sighs> For your journey to the town of the humans, of course. You need to pay more attention, my boy. Mm -hmm. I'm supposed to... I, I thought someone else. Who? I very much doubt you'll find anyone else here who's prepared to look death in the eye. This is your chance to be a tragic hero, my boy. <coughs> a painful loss for the Alliance. Don't you want to be a hero? Uh. Sure, I I'd like to do something exciting, but... I'm not sure I'm ready to try being, uh... Try? There is no try, only do. This is your chance. You'll be a hero, and I'll show everyone that this old gnome is still good for something. So, here's the plan. You get yourself some good gear, I'll sort out the means of transport. All right. I can have a look around, but no promises. I've already grabbed everything. About my equipment. Yes? Have you got everything? I don't know. What exactly should I take? 
Let me think. You need a helmet. You can fight without legs, but you can't fight without a head. Without legs? I mean, yeah. And you need a map of the area. Reconnaissance is everything. We are living in the information age. Are we? So I need a map and a helmet. Got it. I mean, I know we and are, then, but... of course, you need a parachute. Better to be safe than sorry. Um, just why I need a parachute? Just a precaution. Uh... All right. This ring, do you really think this could end the war? I don't know if there's anything that can end this war. The Gremlin said it would change all our fates. Maybe it's a powerful magic ring. We are simply soldiers, my boy. We fight when we are told to. Don't worry yourself about anything else. Sounds sensible. Do you know the Archmage? Have you ever met him? I've never met him. After all, he's a great leader, and I'm just a simple, highly decorated gnome colonel. Yes. But I've heard lots about him. He's a powerful mage, well, of being, course. Being an archmage. He's an advisor to the king, and he's our most powerful Shh. alchemist and chief of the secret service. He lives in a tower down by the sea in Seastone. Of course, being the important man he is, he's always away on business. Hmm. I hope he's there. I always wanted to meet a real mage. If he's not there, you'll have to wait for him or go and look for him. You must only give the ring to the Archmage in person, you hear me? No one else. Give me your word of honor. If the ring really is important, then it shouldn't be our fault if it lands in the wrong hands. Okay, okay. I swear I'll give it to the Archmage personally. Um... I'm supposed to travel to a human town in your machine, right? Absolutely, it's the quickest way. And the safest? Mm. Absolutely, it's the quickest way. Uh. Well, we can't expect any help from the master brewer. He doesn't believe the ring is important. I didn't expect much more from that cowardly drunkard. Well, granddad, he's my boss. Some boss sits in his fortress drinking beer from dawn till dusk. Why his comrades are fighting on the front line. Yeah? I think he misses them. He does. Well, perhaps. But one thing's for sure. We are on our own, soldier. I... What is your accent? I'll go look for the rest of my gear. You do that. I've got enough to do here. But remember, never look a Medusa in the eye. And never look at anyone on the underground. Right. I mean, that's pretty solid advice. <laughs> All right. Well, off we go. Well, we already know how to get a map. And I suspect I use the extendable arm. I can't grab it with the arm, and anyway, I might wake him. I'll have to distract him somehow. Beer. Distract with beer. Okay, let's see. A uh, strong antibacterial kitchen cleaner. There we are. I can't get close enough. It'll snap at me. Oh. Slime me. Okay, then we'll use the extendable arm and a the perfect fit. cleaner. Now we can make long reaching attacks on bacteria. Now I'm gonna do something I should have done a long time ago. Mm-hmm. Perfect. It's too bad that slime had to be so evil. I know. Take. Now that's a helmet fit for a hero. It only stinks a little bit. So that should keep my head safe. All I need now is the map and the parachute. Okay. We have a map up here. Hmm. 
No, I can't. I... Well, maybe I can. We're just gonna give it to the robot and then hide, right? I'm gonna burn in hell for this, guaranteed. Oh yeah, for sure. 100%. I wonder if that would work. At least it would distract the master brewer a bit. Mm-hmm. Oh. Ah! Hello? Stop! That wasn't supposed to happen. Oh. I have a feeling that wasn't such a brilliant idea. Oh, I like the master brewer. Well. That was amazing. The eternal struggle of dwarf against machine. Oh. And I won. <laughs> well, at least you had fun. Uh, are you okay? Of course. Why not? You think a stupid tin bucket's going to beat a proper dwarf? <laughs> no chance. It's oh, a Roomba. That was good. Something's happening at last. Cause for celebration. I think we should drink to that. Well, I'm glad it worked out. Hello, Master Brewer, sir. Hi, hi, Wilbur. Huh. Say, you wouldn't happen to have a parachute, would you? <laughs> That's a good one. Yeah, I didn't think so. All right. When the robot started in on you, I never thought you'd beat it. <laughs> it was an epic scrap, lad, an epic scrap. More against machine nature against technology mind over matter mind how did you destroy it i hit him as hard as i could with heavy objects until sparks started <laughs> leaping out of her Ooh, i mean tactic too right but he did land a couple on me look what he did to my beard oh oh uh yeah I was so tanked up with ale and adrenaline, I didn't even notice. Um, Mr. Master Brewer, sir, could I maybe borrow that map over there? What's that? Oh, lad, that map shows the finest taverns in the land. And this one's on it, too. Oh, I I'd be really, really careful with it. No, no, uh, to be quite honest, there hasn't been a lot going on here since war broke out. And I've got no chance of being featured again. That's why the map is staying where it is. Aww. I talked to my granddad. He thinks the ring is important, too. Of course he does. He wants to help me get to the human town. Yeah? Well, of course he wants to do that. Listen to me, laddie. Nothing against your grandpa. Uh huh. But don't you think he's uh, a few jills short of a pint? My granddad is a great soldier and inventor. How dare you? Yeah, of course he is. Of course he is. But uh, how should I put it? He's maybe had one crash landing too many. How dare you? His flying machines were mostly a bit uh, temperamental. And let's face it, he wasn't actually the greatest of pilots. How dare you? Honestly, son, if your grandpa reckons there's something in that story, then for me, that's just one more reason to keep out of it. How dare you? Granddad and I will show everyone. I have to go. Enjoy the celebration. Yeah, yeah. Oh, you poor thing. Okay. Can't really use the flying fish for anything here, it seems. Oh. Let's see. I pulled the rope through the eyes on the rucksack. Yes, that works. Okay. Rucksack with elf rope. I guess this is going to be our parachute. Let's see. 
tools. I'd rather not take Nemo apart until I know what I'm looking for. Hmm, that's fair. I think he's drunk with victory, so he shouldn't see anything. Probably. I have it. The map of the area. And let's go. And two of the three pieces of gear already. So all Yep, all we need now is a parachute. Would a bed sheet do the trick? Pick up the map. Okay, so bed sheet's probably not gonna do it. And down we go. Something my granddad is working on. No, I like my granddad, but um. Excuse me, Colonel Grandad. Yes, report back. I have the pot, um, um, helmet. Excellent soldier. The helmet will protect you from physical attacks. You can even sit on it and use it as a saucepan. Yes. Ooh, how practical. Let me see your helmet. It's not all that great, I know, but... What? It's a good helmet, and it's going to protect a good soldier. That is, of course, as long as the enemy doesn't attack with dragons, or has wizards in its ranks, oh. or magical swords, oh. and doesn't go for your head. Oh. Maybe I should look for some armor with magic. Poppycock! That helmet will do. Uh. I got a map. Excellent! My commanding officer always said good maps are half the battle. Of course, you won't be needing it if everything goes well. If what goes well? But if not, it's always good to have a map with you. What? I'll go look for the rest of my gear. You do that. I've <sighs> got enough to do here. But bear in mind, the Dark Lord knows all of your thoughts. Pardon? Right. Okay. That vice brings back a lot of Hmm. Did we see any sheets anywhere else? Is there anything here? that I'm missing. Those are jelly glowfish lamps. As long as you feed them every couple of weeks, they're good for years of life. Look, Grandad. A mechanical flying fish. Good, isn't it? Oh, little military use. It's cute, though. Is there anything in the kitchen that I missed? Our kitchen.
We used to have jelly glowfish all over the walls. I found that a little cozier. Not much exploring I can do yet. All right, I'm, I'm gonna look again. Okay, that one wasn't very obvious. But we need to go back into the kitchen. <sighs> And look at this thing again. Hmm, there's still some grain in the funnel. Barley, I think. Okay. I think it's pretty clear what we need to do. I from don't here. even know what to do with one handful of barley. Why do I need two then? What? I don't even know what to do with. Hmm, doesn't look like much. What are you talking about? Okay, I'm gonna look ahead. Oh. God, that is really hard to see. A rolled up tarpaulin. Probably just like the ones hanging all over the place. I'll thread the rope through the eyes around the edge of the tarpaulin. Done. Mm -hmm. There we go. A parachute. And that's the last of my gear. I must get back to Grandad. Fast. All right. If there's nothing else we need to do, the game wouldn't lock me out, would it? Would it? What it? Down we go. <laughs> uh, can I can I not skip that? There we go. All right, Granddad, we have the parachute. Um, excuse me, Colonel Granddad. Yes, report back. I have a parachute. Fantastic. Parachutes are hard to come by and are difficult to make yourself. After all, you'd only want to entrust your life in a quality product, not something makeshift you've patched together yourself. Uh... Trust my life, but of course, I, I mean, I mean, of course not. So, that's the last of my gear. Yay! Now what? Excellent. We could get going if only my damn machine would work. But you can't find a thing in this house. No nitroglycerin, no dragon hide armor, no concentrated pillars of salt, no full mithril jacket bullets. Nothing. Um, what, what do you need all that for? For what? It's a war. But we just want to deliver the ring to the archmage. Don't you think a sled... What? 
I need a nitroglycerin substitute. Something highly explosive. Fertilizer? The only thing that comes to mind is good old dwarven ale. Dwarven ale? Devilish stuff. We reduced complete countries to ash and rubble with it. We loved the smell of dwarven ale in the mornings. Okay, I'll get you some dwarven ale. Anything else? Yes, I need a cog. A 5 8 inch screw steel sprocket, straight beveled, hard chrome plated, BSA threaded flange with right hand thread and lock ring locking. It's not a standard size, and I can't find one anywhere. Well, mm. a 5 8 inch screw steel sprocket, straight beveled, hard chrome plated, BSA threaded flange with right hand thread and locking lock ring. Sounds familiar. Come back when you've got the stuff. I'll sort out the rest. Uh, I've got a good care of the ring. It's your pleasure. I've got a, right. Uh, I've got a pretty good idea about the cog. Well, that won't work. It wiggles too much. Well, that won't work. It wiggles too much. Hmm. So we've got to find some way to stop the fish from wiggling. Those are my mum's plants. She keeps trying to genetically change the plants so they can grow up here amidst the icy mountains. Uh huh. Those cogs belong to Dad's living space optimization unit. The machine takes up a total of three rooms in our hall. Oh, well, let's let's see about that ale. Hello, Master Brewer, sir. Hi, hi, Wilbur. Um, Mr. Master Brewer, assuming I were to need some dwarven ale. Dwarven ale. Uh, it's not allowed, unfortunately. Why not? Have you heard about the explosion on Mount Winterfeet? Pardon? The volcanic eruption. <laughs> volcanic eruption. Deep under that mountain was the finest ale brewery in the whole dwarven world. My dad took me there when I was nothing but two beer crates tall. Can you imagine how ailed up we were? Uh, kind of. What happened? Ah, well, some so-and-so cocked up, and boom! <laughs> that was that! All over for dwarven ale brewing! After the accident, it was banned as a substance of enjoyment. The sharp taste, the warmth in the throat, gone forever. How now tragic. it's only used in warfare and in the alchemy industry. But you do know how to brew dwarven ale, don't you? Does a one-legged duck swim in a circle? Of course I know. I'm the master brewer. It's not difficult either. First, you get barley germinated in a malt house, then let them bloat up after leaving them dormant for a bit. Then kill and dry the green malt, keeping it turned, of course, mill it, making sure that the husks don't get destroyed. The husks? What are... Then mash the whole lot in a mash tun, obviously using a decoction procedure. Uh -huh. After the iodine test, we get on with purifying and separating the malt from the beer wort in a slatted filter bag. Of um. course, but in other words, we let the draft run through the mash pot. We then put the first wort in the brewing kettle, let it simmer, and add the hops. We let the wort settle to remove the trub crust, add the yeast, and then leave to ferment. Then we run everything through the pebble filter. That's all fair enough. Then it gets more complicated. Oh no. Stop. What? We're just getting to the exciting part. I'm sure we were, but I just abandoned the idea of brewing some dwarven ale myself. Well, whatever you think. Let's assume I need a small tankard of dwarven ale really, really urgently. Could you brew it for me? Uh, could do, uh, but I'm not going to. It's not allowed. Oh, come on. Who's going to notice? When was the last time another dwarf came by to visit us? Mm, that's a fair time back. You see? 
Wouldn't you just love a nice cold dwarven ale tonight to celebrate your victory over the robot? Oh, dwarven ale with nectar. I'd certainly enjoy a wee taste of it again. No, oh, it's not going to happen. I'm missing a few ingredients. Uh huh. And if I get them, would you brew up two tankards then? One for me and one for yourself. Aye. It's a deal. You find me the missing ingredients, and I'll brew some dwarven ale. What do you need? Okay. What do you need? Crystal clear mountain water. Got it. Hops and some barley for malting. Got it. And that's uh, that's it. No, no devil's fire, salamander eyes, or dragon's breath, that sort of thing? Nope. Water, hops, and malt. Uh, then there's just a few secret ingredients and uh, naturally synthesized aromatic substances and uh, a couple of E-numbers. Uh, but I've already got them here. Okay. Water, hops, and barley. I get them. Do you have any idea where I can get the hops? Oh, I'm sorry, but that thieving rat took the best part of five sacks. Goodness. Well, I've got enough left. I've got to be careful with it. The rat, huh? Hmm. Here's some barley from my mum's kitchen. Can it be used for brewing? Mm -hmm. It's not the best, but it'll have to do. I have a pot of crystal clear water for the dwarven ale. Show me. Aye. That water's very good. We can use this. Yeah. I have to go. Yeah, yeah. The rat, huh? Hmm. If the rat has stolen. There's something in there. Something round. Ugh. Hopefully, it's not a giant rat dropping. It's a single hop. This is probably all that's left of the stock of hops. Handy that. Hello, Master Brewer, sir. Hey, hey, Wilbur. I've got some hops for the ale. <laughs> oh, no, my lad. That's not enough. Oh. I need more hops. A proper handful. But I, I can't find any more. Oh, well, that's it as far as the Dwarven Ale is concerned. But you can plant the hops. You'll have enough next year. <laughs> All right. I have to... Yeah. Let's go plant this thing in Mom's, uh, Mom's little garden. I, I doubt she'll mind. Okay, I'll plant the hop in the soil. All righty. Let's see what happens. I really can't imagine this stuff. Oh. Wow. Beautiful. Good fertilizer, that. Yeah. Wow. A huge hop plant with tons of corns. Take. I've picked about ten corns. That should be enough for the dwarven ale. All right. I've got some hops for the ale. Is this enough? Ho ho! That's enough. I hope you haven't been whipping stuff out of my stock. Nah. No. Well, only indirectly. And that means I've got all I need to brew the lovely dwarven ale. Hooray! <laughs> right, it's all go now then. Lovely. Hey, laddie, just watch out that you don't get any of that in your eyes. It's oh. dangerous stuff. I'll be very careful. Thanks very much, sir. Well, tell me, Wilbur, what do you need all that junk for? The dwarf and ale and all the other stuff that you've been dragging out of here the whole evening. Now you noticed? Well, it's because of the ring. I need it. Grandad's helping me get the ring to the human town safe. 
Well, quickly. Ah, oh, Wilbur, it's dangerous for a young gnome like yourself out there. I know, but I promised that gremlin, and I believe it really could be important. And I'd like to get out of here and achieve something. Taste Aww. some adventure, eh? Mm hmm. You know, I don't think that the ring is all that important. Uh, not everybody's born for having adventures, my lad. He's not wrong. But maybe you really do need to get out of here. Yes. Really? Aye, laddie. You still live with your parents. And you keep company with a very interesting, intelligent old dwarf. <laughs> but that can't go on forever, can it now? Aww. So if you do leave and go off on an adventure, even if it's just to sea stone, then maybe you'll come back and visit and tell me all about it then, eh? Aww. I promise. Don't forget us. You're going to have to excuse me now. I've got an appointment. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> is there any chance that the cog is in the robot? No. Well, that won't work. It wiggles. All right. What can I do to keep the flying fish from wiggling too much? Tarps are supposed to offer the stonemasons a little protection. They have to be pretty tough if they're out there. I'm not climbing up there. It's all iced up. I'd probably end up breaking. Well, you wouldn't be breaking your head. Apparently, the statue is not quite finished. Still, it looks much better than the others do. Originally, hundreds of dwarves were supposed to live here to defend the Mountain Kingdom's northern front. Now the Master Brewer and my family are the only ones left. Aww. And that's it for stuff to look at, isn't it? Alright. The plants have grown. I could have sworn they weren't here yesterday. Mum probably uses a really good fertilizer. She does. Alright. Nothing else in the kitchen, huh? Nothing in that room. That's my family. Right now, just Grandad and I are holding. My dad is a mechanic. Mother is just a. She once doubled her. My other little sister, Grandad, is a. W Looks like I'm the proverbial. I'd rather go out. In hmm. And down we go. Indeed. All right. They used to hang all over the wall. Now these two are all. All right, Granddad. I got the ale. Oh, duh. It's stuck. Poor thing. You say poor thing like you didn't just stick it there yourself. Problem with the right tool. Got the cog. 
There you are, a 5-8 inch screw steel sprocket, straight beveled, hard chrome plated, BSA threaded flange with right hand thread and lock ring locking. Hmm, maybe that cog wasn't all that important. Live. Good job. Oh, maybe it was important. Um, excuse me, Colonel Grandad. All right. Yes, report back. Here's the dwarven ale, Grandad. Oh, my goodness, we must be careful with this. That means we are only missing the cog. Dismissed! Excuse me, sir. Here's the cog, Grandad. Yay! You did it. <laughs> I had to break my flying fish for that. Aww. War always involves sacrifice. Your flying fish was a hero, one of our best. He will honor his memory. Aww. Now I have everything I need. It won't take long now. Prepare yourself for takeoff. Yay. Take off? I mean, we gotta get there quickly, right? So that's what you meant by takeoff. Absolutely. I mean that at the town of the humans. That C2 was, of course, designed to shoot grenades. Oh. But I'm confident that she'll get your capsule there, too. Confident? Get me out of here. Please, Grandad. Listen, my boy. I'm proud of you. You're doing something very brave. Thanks, Gramps. Sure, Wilbur. I'd like you to have these. Your old aviator goggles. Oh, Grandad, I, I didn't think... Too slow, my boy. Fire! <laughs> Good luck. Thanks, Gramps. It's so cartoony. It's gross. What is that? <laughs> he still hasn't told us, Mother. Oh. Keep them. Who else knows about it? The Archmage won't know about it yet. We were able to intercept the Serpent, as you know. But... But? An elf, Mother. She tried to free MacGuffin. She might know something. She needs to be watched. Very well. And now, Mr. Professor, let us have a little chat. Oh. Oh. Oh well. No problem. I am an elf. And I'm fit. What now? I'll get the book out of MacGuffin's secret cellar and take it to the Archmage. Yay. No, they were all gone when I got there. They collected the cage and were off. Now it's up to us to get the book. I forgot about it, you, uh, Ivo. Of course I don't have to, but, well, what else am I going to do? It appears to be very important. And even if it isn't important, those shady fellows want to have that book. It's better that we get it out of the cellar before they get their grubby mitts on it. Then don't help me. Why don't you just fly home? Just don't tell my parents anything. <laughs> Ungrateful feathered fowl. He is a cute little unfeathered fowl. Uh, sorry, cute little ungrateful feathered fowl, though. A large brick fireplace. The fire grates on the outside, not inside the house. That's a bit unusual, but it does make sense if the professor doesn't wish to have an open fire inside. You know what? I think I'm going to call it there. I'm going to leave off on this um, beautiful screen of I have owned this little cottage in the woods with all these pumpkins. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I hope you guys have enjoyed this. Um, I may play more of this on streams in the future. I don't know for sure. Um, we are very close to baby time, so I don't know what my schedule is going to look like for the next while. Uh, for that matter, um, I'm going to be due to have this child in the next uh, two and a half weeks or so. 
So, who knows? Maybe I'll have time for another streaming sesh or two. Um, maybe I'll have my kid tomorrow. Who knows? <laughs> we'll just have to see. But yeah, um, if you enjoyed this, make sure you, um, you know, buy this game, um, you know, on Steam. It's it's pretty old by now, but it's a good, um, so far it seems like a pretty good point and click. It's, um, I, I did need to consult a guide a couple of times, but it's not so hopelessly difficult as, like, some of the old, um, LucasArts, I think, makes them, um, those old point and clicks from, like, the 90s and, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, and, you know, that kind of, that era. <coughs> excuse me. Uh. But yeah. Um, and of course, if you like my stuff, if you like hearing my voice when I'm playing video games, then you can always, you know, subscribe, like, follow, whatever it is, um, that you do on whatever platform you're watching this on. Uh, so if you enjoyed watching it on Twitch, uh, make sure you leave a comment, let me know what you thought of it. If you, um, you know, if you're seeing this on YouTube, again, just leave a comment, let me know, like the video, whatever. But yeah, I'll, uh, I'll see you guys next time. Uh, make sure you keep an eye on Twitter if you'd like to see more. I will always announce my streams before they happen on Twitter. I do not have a regular streaming schedule, so that's... I hate to say it, that's pretty much the only way to catch me. Um, you know, before I actually... Well, well, to kind of plan for when you get to see my next stream. Um, I'm working on that. My life is still a little chaotic just because of things going on, uh, but, you know, uh, I've been dreaming about having a Twitch schedule for a long time, so once I'm able to, uh, commit to one, I'll let you guys know. In the meantime, I hope you guys had fun, and I'll see you next time. Bye! Love you!